स्टूडेंट्स इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी लर्न अबाउट फिजिकल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ मेटल्स एंड नॉन मेटल्स एंड हाउ दीज कैरेक्टरिस्टिक प्रॉपर्टीज आर द बेसिस ऑफ मेनी यूजफुल इन्वेंशन इन आर डे टू डे लाइफ नाउ इन दिस वीडियो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न मोर अबाउट केमिकल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ मेटल्स एंड नॉन मेटल्स यू हैव लर्न इन प्रीवियस चैप्टर्स दैट इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कॉन्फिग्रेशन इज द बेसिस ऑफ केमिकल बिहेवियर ऑफ एलिमेंट्स इन अदर वर्ड्स इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कॉन्फिग्रेशन प्लेज अ मेजर रोल इन द क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ एलिमेंट्स इन टू मेटल्स एंड नॉन मेटल्स लेट्स रिकॉल फ्यू टर्म्स वॉट इज वैलेंसी that's right the number which indicates the ability of an atom to join with another atom with a chemical bond is called as valency of that atom majority of metals have up to 3 electrons in their outermost shell and metals have a tendency to lose their valence electrons to form positively charged ions that is cations sodium sodium ion Sodium atom have one valence electron. It loses one electron. Sodium contains eleven protons, eleven electrons. When it loses one electron, it has ten electrons and eleven protons. Therefore, it carries one positive charge. In a chemical reaction between sodium and chlorine, sodium atom gives one electron to chlorine atom. Thus, Na plus one ion and Cl minus one ion are formed simultaneously. As these are oppositely charged. they attract each other forming nacl molecule magnesium 282 magnesium positive ion 28 oxygen 26 oxygen negative ion 28 aluminium 283 aluminium positive ion 28 nitrogen 25 nitrogen negative ion 28 nitrogen atom has five valence electrons to complete octet it accepts three electrons to form an ion initially it has seven protons and seven electrons when it accepts three electrons it has seven protons 10 electrons so it carries minus three charge on the other hand most of the non metals have four to seven electrons in their valence shells non metals have a tendency to accept electrons in their valence shell to form negatively charged ions called anions now can you tell me why positive charge is developed in metals and negative charge is developed in non metals inert gases like neon and argon are extremely stable and chemically passive you understand that if the outermost shell consists of eight electrons then the atom is stable but if it is not so less than eight then what will happen to its reactivity observe the following table table 1 metal atomic number electronic configuration sodium 11 2 8 magnesium 12 2 8 aluminium 13 283 table 2 non metal atomic number electronic configuration nitrogen 7 25 oxygen 8 26 chlorine 17 287 what do you see in the first table you can see that the electrons in the outermost shell are up to 3 and the first and second shell have maximum 2 and 8 electrons respectively which means to maintain the stable state the atom of the elements have to lose those electrons in the outer shell or to gain electrons to complete the octet how the atom can decide whether to lose or gain electrons well you will learn this in later standards similarly in the second table you can see that the outermost shell has electrons more than 4 but less than 8 so they need electrons to complete the octet to attain the stable state now consider sodium ion when sodium atom loses one electron from its outer shell the octet in the second shell is completed but the atomic number of sodium is 11 which means its nucleus contains 
11 protons which are positively charged and 11 electrons in the shells which are negatively charged before losing the one electron and hence the atom is neutral. After losing the electron in the outer shell, the nucleus still contains 11 protons but there are only 10 electrons left now. Hence, the sodium ion acquires positive charge. You can see that the charge is directly proportional to the number of electrons lost. The positively charged ions thus formed are called cations. Similarly, consider the element chlorine in this second table. Its atomic number is 17 and it has 7 electron in its outermost shell, which means it needs one electron to complete the octet and attain this stable state. Before receiving this one electron, it is neutral with 17 protons in the nucleus and 17 electrons in the shells. But as this chlorine atom receives or accepts one electron, the number of electrons becomes 18, whereas number of protons in nucleus remain 17. Hence, a negative charge is developed on the chlorine ion thus formed, which are called anions. After the transfer of electrons, both cations and anions obtain inert gas configuration. For example, sodium, magnesium and aluminium ions obtain neon configuration while nitrogen and oxygen ions obtain neon configuration and chlorine ion obtains argon configuration. Now, can you explain to your friends the concept of cations and anions formation for the remaining elements in the tables 1 and 2? Interestingly, those who lose electrons are metals and those who gain electrons are non-metals. Thus, we have seen an important chemical property of metals and non-metals. Summary Students, in this video, we discussed about chemical properties of metals and non-metals. We discussed about electronic configuration that forms the basis of chemical behavior of elements. Metals have a tendency to lose their valence electrons to form positively charged ions or cations. Non-metals have a tendency to accept electrons in their valence shell to form negatively charged ions called as anions. Challenge Write cations of metals from group 1 and 2 and anions from non-metals for example halogen, sulphur, etc.